Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianis, TEA, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. And we have a sleepy kitty <laughs> in the background. So Dara's taking a little bit of a rest. Sorry about the weird looking hair, but my hair got wet and when it does it just <laughs> so I'm luckily the humidity hasn't gone yet. But it's supposed to rain all this weekend, all the holiday weekend, so but I'm okay with that. I've got everything that I need in this apartment, including my guy and my kitty. So I'm good. So what is today? Today we are talking trash and going through my empties for the month of March 2024. So, and of course it's empty right now because I've moved everything over here. Oh, sorry, Dar, I didn't mean to wake you. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the flat goods first and get a you know, quickie review, that sort of thing. I think I did okay with the skincare this month. So I did do the little night masks that come from Timu. This one was a uh, collagen firming mask. There's only like three mil, five mil, something like that in these things. And I got them off of Timu. And I like them. They're a quick little, almost like an aloe sort of mask. Aloe slash collagen mask. So we had this one. We had the collagen firming mask. Now these are mostly clear, so it does kind of remind you like aloe. So I did that one. Now the bigger uh, containers, and they're all from, uh, those two were from the same company, uh, Timu, Jaysung, J-A-Y-S-U-I-N-G. Um, and let's see, this one was by Ilho, E-E-L-H-O-E. -E -E. Again, these, excuse me, uh, came from Timu. The next two are from Laikau, L-A-I-K-O-U, a snail sleeping mask. This, yeah, looks more like snail essence, a little more like snot, sorry. Um, but it was good, I like it. I, it. It does a good job, I think. Um, next one, also same company, was Skin Rejuvenation Sleeping Mask, Moisturizing, Repairing, and Brightening. So we've got that uh, right there. I like those. That's why I bought a bucket of them. <laughs> I tried something, and I'm not sure if I got this from a Walmart box or from Carol Gardner, but I'm going to assume it's Carol Gardner. And it was just a little sweet and shimmer uh, brush cleansing wipe. Wash your brushes. <laughs> These little cleansing wipes do squat for cleaning a, a well-used brush. I might have gotten some of the stuff off, but a, a color changer will do the same thing. So, um, eh, on that one. That was a no. Now, the next three that I got were actually from my um, Ross's haul that I went with my guy. So there's like something, like a hair or something from my bangs. So this, both, all three of them came from the Ross's haul. Retinol and Peptide Rejuvenating Facial Sheet Mask by Yesul, Y-E-S-U-L. It was okay, you know, it's collagen and peptide or retinol and peptide. I'm very sensitive to retinol, but this one didn't bother me at all, so we're okay with that. And then um, also they had the retinol and rose hip oil, and this was a forehead mask. Now it's not in the usual sort of domed, slightly triangular shape of most uh, forehead masks. This was square or rectangular, so it was very saturated. It stayed put. Um, so I don't have a problem with it, it, but it was just different that I expected more of a, a um, jelly consistency to the um, hydrogel, and this isn't. This is just plain old like sheet mask material in a rectangle that you put on your forehead. You could have put it, probably put it anywhere else too. <laughs> But um, rose hip oil was nice. It doesn't really smell like roses, but so that was okay. Avocado and collagen, these were under eye masks, and these were more paper light than hydrogel. And they stayed put. They did their job. So, you know, not bad for a Ross haul. You know, I, I haven't gone there in years. Probably won't again, but that was a nice uh, thing to pick up. Now, one of the best masks of all time, and I highly recommend it, is the Facery Moon Velvet mask. OMG, this is a cream mask. And you get more than just one use out of it. You can put that on. And there's enough essence probably for another two nights of just patting the cream on your face. So it really is a good deal. It's 30 uh, grams, 1.05 ounces. It's from Face Dream Moisturizing Cream Mask. This is one of the best masks ever. So um, I highly recommend it. The next one was from my recent haul last week, this week, can't remember. 
Um, this was the Shea Butter Moisturizing Foot Mask, and um, it did a good job. It did probably maybe just a smidgen less wonderful than Esfolio or some of the other ones that I've gotten off of Amazon before, but for the price on Timu, it was, it was good. It was. <laughs> like I was laughing as, as I was sort of very carefully meandering from here into the front room with the mask on. He's like, what is it? It's a, it's a foot mask. <laughs> so I'm always complaining that my feet feel dry, horribly, horribly dry. So this did help. It did do a good job. Maybe not as good as Esfolio, but this did a good job. So I do recommend it. Uh, the next one was a tree tea, tea tree collagen essence mask from Dermal. Um, and I got this of, off of Amazon. Um, whole packets of them. I get a lot of them. So this did a good job. Um, refreshing, calming, sebum control. That's for the, the nose, etc. because of the tea tree uh, oil in it. So did a good job. I'm not a fan of the scent, but it wasn't overpowering. Now this one, <laughs> you've heard me talk about on a Mask Monday recently. This was um, Esfolio, again, one of my favorite brands of masks. This one, not so much. Um, Ceramide Caffeine Essence Sheet Mask, only because it smelled like coffee and I absolutely detest the scent of coffee. So, <laughs> was it a good mask? Yes. Did it stink? For my olfactory senses? Yes, just because it smelled like coffee. But it, if you love coffee, this is a great one to get. Um, oh, that one came from Stylevana. Yeah, they always put the little stickers on the front, so I know it's from Stylevana. Um, the next thing was makeup remover, Neutrogena. I'm sorry, but you really cannot beat Neutrogena. Um, this one was ultra soft, fragrance-free. doesn't matter to me if it has fragrance or not. I just picked it up. It was a good price, $25 in a packet. It does such a wonderful job, and it leaves your face so soft afterwards. So, um... I love this. I, I get them over and over. <laughs> so there's that. Now this last one I do believe Carol Gardner gave me, and this was in... Hi. Ow! <laughs> Don't prick me. No. You've already had treats. You've already had treats. Yes, Mommy's doing this. Are we climbing me now? How can I resist it? Look at it, who's that face? Oh, the twitchy, twitchy, twitchy face. Yeah, that's why these are right here. <laughs> All right, you gonna get out of my way if I give you some? Yeah, okay, okay, you go over there. Put your bottom stay in the shot. Hold, please. Okay, so. I believe I got this from uh, a giveaway that I won from Carol Gardner, and I like it. Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Water Cream. It's creamy enough to be creamy, but not as heavy as some other ones. So the Hydro Boost uh, Water Cream, I like it. It might even be something that I would consider buying a full size from if it wasn't too um, too expensive. It has um, holds moisture for 72 hours, and actually, I think I didn't time it per se, but it really lasted most of a weekend just applying it and I was able to get just this small little application 0.11 um, fluid ounces or three mil I actually got several uses out of it at night so thank you Carol Gardner yeah yeah all right finally went through this you guys hardly ever see me wear nail polish and I do occasionally um, but this was something that um, I found on Amazon specifically to help take off those heavy-duty nail polishes especially ones that are very chunky glitter oriented and in fact um, I think I showed it in a haul a long time ago don't know how long ago but reviews from Sue saw my haul and she's all where did you get that so I think I even got influenced Sue which is oh my gosh <laughs> a reverse a reverse influence oh my goodness you already had treats seriously no I know I know just go away <laughs> no that's all you're getting Anyway, this is Cutex Care Ultra Powerful Nail Polish Remover for hard to remove glitter, gel, and dark colored polishes. So let's go look at that. Got it off of Amazon. You probably find it in most um, drugstores. No, really, I'm going to have to insist. Yes, go that way. Go that way. Okay, now here's something. Investigating this and investigating that. You're still not getting it no matter time you climb on me. I'm telling you. Okay. So I actually have candles this time. So these were from Ipsy, the Juicy Couture Choose Juicy. 
what was it, Red Roses Juicy Peach Magnolia um, Fine Fragranced Soy Candle. Very tiny, very wee. Does not perform well. Does not uh, melt to the very edges so that it's all liquid, so you just get a hole in the center. And no matter how many times you take, take a little knife or spoon or something to try and move the wax around, it just doesn't really want to burn nicely. So if you don't care about the throwaways and you just want a little candle while you're taking a bath or something and just toss it afterwards, these are fine. But um, you're going to get more use out of like a, a little votive candle or a tea light or something. Um, the scents weren't very strong and just the performance was kind of eh. So I also got the other one, Juicy Couture Honey, H-U-N-N-Y, Honey Bee, Wild Honey, Creamy Vanilla, Orange Blossom. I thought I would have liked this, but no, it just doesn't really have a scent. And the same thing performance-wise. Um, it just, it burns a hole in the center <laughs> and does not liquefy the rest of it. So um, I did what I could. Um, I'm going to recycle these. Those, you could use it for a pill case or something if you wanted. Now, this one I got as part of PR. I think there was a set of 12 candles, and I haven't used them as much as I should, but again, we've got a performance problem here. I have used it. I've cleaned it out, um, but this, these little things just don't burn right. They burn in the center till you hit bottom, and then you've got all the stuff on the side. You can sit there with a knife and try and scrape it down into the center. No. Burn candle within sight. Um, this was strawberry 100% soy wax. I really expected soy wax to liquefy the whole little container, and it didn't, but it had very, very cute packaging. So I've used those. Gotta use what you have, right? Okay, the next thing are some masks that I've gone through. Um, finally used up the Freeman Clearing Pomegranate Peel-Off Face Mask. Now, this was given to me by my ex-coworker, Wally, a long time before he retired. He's been retired for two years. He probably gave it to me at least a year and a half beforehand. It has stayed fresh and peel off face masky <laughs> in that whole time. So I do recommend this. This is a really nice mask. I've always had full face peel off mask, face mask, the whole face with this. So I do recommend it, but it took me a while to use it. I put it away in a drawer and then I forget it's there. The next thing was Hey Honey Sweet Treat Wild Berry and Honey Yogurt Recovery Mask. So it's kind of like a wipe on, wipe off sort of thing. Um, but it was okay. It took me a while to, to use it. Um, just because I'd rather it be absorbed rather than have to wipe it off. But it was okay. It did a good job. This one I'm, I'm not really thrilled about. My Skinny Mask Australia. I think I wore it once. It's a bright yellow turmeric and vitamin C clay mask. Um, it was okay the first one or two times, and then I was over it, but you got to use what you have. So it took me a while to use these up. I don't have a date on it, so there was that. Usual nose drops. Everybody knows Teresa has nose problems, so um, there was that. Um, I'm going to do two declutters. I think I spoke about this before that I was going to try and use these, but this is Ciate London, and it is a glitter shimmer. Um darker pink-ish mauve. I just can't bring myself to use it. I don't like the color. I just don't. And, and I don't like the way it applies. Um, the next thing was uh, Keja. K-A-J-A. This was a three-in-one. And again, they should be my colors. But I just, I don't like the performance. I, okay, how do I open this? Uh, it's a three-in-one with a little mirror. So you've got your darker color, your medium color, and your lighter color. They should be with a little mirror. And they should all be colors that I like. And they are all shimmers. I just didn't like the way they applied. So I'm decluttering it. I've used it maybe two or three times playing around. And I just, I don't care for it. There's that. Almost to the bottom. <laughs> Do you see the date on this? That's a question mark of 2021. This teeny tiny little glam glow bright eyes eye cream. <laughs> It's taken me three years to go through this because I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it, and so it also makes, makes me feel like my eyes are bleeding. <laughs> You're very, very careful putting it on, but at the same time, it's like if you if your eyes water even a little bit, you're gonna get it in there, and then you're like, oh, just stab me in the eyes. So this took three years to use. I've used lots of other eye creams since then. I've been working on two biros, one at work and one here. That's taken me over a year, but those are full size. 
yeah, three years for this baby. I'm not a big fan. I know there's so many people that love Glam Glow. I don't. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so there's that. But I used it. Gotta use your stuff up. Um, the next one was Kinship Self Smooth 10% Glycolic Resurfacing Serum. So it does give you that little bit of, okay, you're rolling off the dead skin there. You put it on overnight and you feel like, you know, you can rub off a little bit of dead skin in the morning. It's always good to clean your face um, afterwards, whether it's a wipe or micellar water or whatever. But this was nice. It was cute. Um, didn't take me that long to use. Um, when I get it again... I don't really like it, the, the peeling stuff. So um, it was nice, but I don't need to try it again. <laughs> so, almost done. We've got, um, this came out of, I believe, it was a Walmart bag, CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Ink Black Eyeliner. And I have used it all up. It has a smudger. I don't, I think it's a smudger. I think it's a smudger. I don't know. It's got something that looks like a smudger. Um, at the back, which I find useless, but my go-to is Maybelline. This was CoverGirl. It did an okay job. It didn't. It didn't cry off, smear off. Um, but I like the consistency of my tried and true Maybelline better than this. Um, but if it came in a box, I'd use it up again. Last item. Tea time. Bye bye, Ro. This was the English breakfast tea toner. And I do love their toners. In fact, I think I've got a matcha and something else, a berry, that I've either got either the last last Ipsy and maybe the Ipsy that's yet to come, but I will always get a biro toner. So this one was English breakfast tea. So it had had to shake it up and you had a milky consistency to it. So um, I'm always going to choose these. I really like biro, but full size is well beyond my price point of what I can pay. So anytime Ipsy offers me a sample, whether it's their eye cream or their toners, this girl's getting it. <laughs> All right. So that is Trash Talk and Empties for March 2024. We are almost at the very end of March. By the time this plays, we've only got a day or two left. And so I thought, well, let's instead of doing it after the fact, let's go ahead and actually post it in March. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed my reviews and the empties, what I had to say, talking trash, showing off my empties for the month. I think I did a pretty good job. Not too bad. Not too bad. Gotta work a little bit more on those face masks, but I'll get there. I'll get there. Use your good stuff. As Charmaine would say, use your good stuff. <laughs> So thank you so much, everybody, for visiting with me today. I hope you have a happy and safe holiday, whether you're celebrating Easter or full moon. Well, the full moon was a couple days ago, a week ago, or whatever it is you're deciding to celebrate, just the fact that it's the weekend. Thank you for visiting with me today, and please take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other, and I'll see you around the net. Bye!